Hello everyone, Sassy Lunch Mom here. Back for another week of lunches. Um, this weekend we were pretty busy. We had basketball. Um, we got another hurt finger. Maddie hurt her finger trying to do a cartwheel. I think she's fine. There is a little bruising, but she can bend it and move it and poke at it, so I, I think it's fine. Um, and then we just had a lot of Christmas shopping to do. We're getting a new couch tomorrow, so we're trying to get rid of our old couches. So yeah, busy weekend. So this week's lunches. Uh, so for tomorrow, Monday, Emily's going to have the red berry cereal bar. And Maddie's going to have the protein peanut almond and dark chocolate. And then we had pizza tonight because we were being super lazy. So I just gave each of the girls a pizza a piece and cut it up. Kind of looks terrible the way it's sitting in there, but I there, there was no other way to cut it. So Maddie's got some pizza, applesauce, some carrots, and broccoli ranch. And then for her treat is a Starburst. And then Emily has the same, except for, of course, no broccoli. Gave her four carrots. Let's see what happens. She always claims that a carrot falls on the floor. It does. See you guys here. It always happens. Every time a carrot falls out of your lunch, huh? You know why? Why? Because I actually eat my carrots. Well, there's four of them now. So then if one falls out there, you have three to eat. That would be a step up from eating only one. Anyways, I also have a Go-Gurt. <laughs> and then um, their Capri Sun. We decided to do Capri Suns. These are so much easier to put, well, the pa these are so much easier to put in on in the lunchbox. I'll show you guys here. Maybe. Because when you have the box of the juice pouch, juice box, it's harder. And then the um, lunchbox looks all distorted and stuff. So. I usually put this in here. Put everything on top and then see this lays down pretty almost flat. So hey Em, grab me a box, juice box, quick quick. Versus the juice box, which I want to show you. Okay, you are. I didn't even think about doing this, but anyway. So the juice box goes on here and then it's you know it's all funky. I also have to put ice packs in here, mind you. So yeah. It's a lot anyway. Fun. I like these when I can actually put them into the container or I don't have this big container and I use something different. So, but I do like the pouches. Um, but I think they're getting burned out from these. So, I um, got them in the fruit. Anyways, this day's lunch little vlog is very long today. So, I'm going to cut out here and we'll see you for Tuesday. Okay, here we are for Tuesday's lunch. So Tuesday, Maddie decided that she's going to buy lunch at school. Apparently it's chicken nuggets and something else. So she's going to have that. Emily doesn't want anything to do with that. So I'm going to make her easy mac and cheese in the morning. Um, and then I will heat up the thermos with the teapot. Let it sit for about 10-ish 10, minutes. And then um, while that's happening, I'll cook the easy mac, dry it out, and put it in there. So she's got that, her Capri Sun, gave her some pretzels and peanut butter here in this little container. In case you're wondering, I did get this container at Target. This is a really cool, I like this container actually, it's one of my faves. Um, then we have in here, I went to Trader Joe's today and of course bought a bunch of stuff that we didn't need. Um, so anyways, so there is one little gingerbread guy in there, if you can see him. I'm not sure if she likes that, so I only gave her one of those, but she loves these peppermint bark um, pretzel thins. I gave her two of those. And then she has some peaches here. And for her snack, um, I got her the organic Z-Bar. And then for my lunch, um, slash breakfast, breakfast I'm going to have my normal yogurt with granola and probably a banana. Then I have, for lunch, I have um, my, we call it a burrito bowl. So it's rice, black beans, corn, chicken, um, and then I have some sour cream and cheese in here. So I'll heat that up and put those on. And then uh, for snacks, I've got 
some lean salami, and then I have some carrots, broccoli, and ranch. And then some pretzels that I'll probably just throw on my desk for the week. So that is for Tuesday's lunch, guys. Okay, here we go for Wednesday's lunches. So for Wednesday, the girls are going to have, for their snack, a Fiber One bar. Got these in the bulk section at um, Winco, which makes it nice. Get a little bit of variety instead of having to buy a box and then they have to eat that the whole week. Um, but apparently they had inside recess today, which Maddie wasn't able to eat her snack. Kind of a little irritating, but whatever. So that's what they're going to have for snack. And then Maddie for lunch is going to have Christmas tree and candy cane PB&J. And then a string cheese. Oops. I gave her some peaches, put a couple stickers on here, try to get a little bit festive for the holiday season. And then I gave her two of the gingerbread cookies from Trader Joe's that I got the other day. And I also um, let them each pick out a bag of chips for lunch for this weekend they chose for tomorrow. So it seems like a lot of food, so we'll see what she doesn't eat. And then she has her Capri Sun. And Emily has a ham sandwich in the shape of a stocking and a candy cane. String cheese, her two cookies. And then I also did apples and peanut butter. And this, oops, I do that every single time, guys. Every single time. Um, this is the stuff that I use, uh, if you can see it. It's called fresh fruit. You get this in the canning section at the store. Um, basically, I just put them, I cut it up, put it in some water, and put this in there and kind of mix it up and let them kind of hang around for a little bit. And then we don't have any browning, and then they'll actually eat their apples. So she has the Smart Foods white cheddar popcorn and then her Capri Sun as well. So that is for Wednesday. Thursday's lunches. Okay, so Maddie is the only one taking lunch today. Emily is going to buy lunch, which ironically, <laughs> lunch at school is corn dogs. Um, that's just what she picked this week, so I let her... Uh, I let her have it. I let them choose once a week, usually. So she's gonna have corn dogs at school, so Maddie's gonna have them in the thermos. Um, Emily did tell me that they weren't as crispy the other day because I didn't put a paper towel in. So I'll have to remember to put a paper towel in. Um, I will put these in the oven in the morning, and while those are cooking, I will heat that up with the um, teapot water and then rinse it out and all that jazz. So she's gonna have corn dogs, and then I have packed her some um, veggie chips in here with one little treat, which is, if you guys have not had this, this is amazing. It's the Dove Dark Chocolate, Dark Chocolate? Uh, maybe not dark, but it's peppermint bark. Oh my gosh, my total weakness during the holidays. Love it, it's yum. Just got that, some ketchup. Um, some peaches again, and then her Honest Kids drink. So that is all for Thursday. Hi guys, here we are for Friday. It's finally Friday. Um, I'm not quite sure if the girl's going to be to school tomorrow because um, they may have a snow day. It snowed here all day today. So um, I do have a clip that I'm gonna put in at the end of this um, of me this evening on my commute home so anyways just in case here is their lunches they're gonna have basically the same thing uh, for a snack they've got the special K red berry cereal bar they each have an uncrustable some oranges pretzels a gogurt and then for their treat today or Friday sorry they have chocolate wafer bites these are just little packages I got them at Winco in the bulk section and then their um, Capri Sun. So that is all for this week, you guys. Everybody have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Guys, check this out. This weather is crazy. We had a lot of snow this afternoon, and I'm on the freeway going five miles an hour to get home. <laughs> it normally takes me about 30 minutes to get home from work, and I think it's going to take a little longer today. 
It's our own. Got a lot of snow and it's supposed to snow through the night and apparently rain too. So I'm not quite sure if the girls are going to be going to school tomorrow. They may actually get a snow day, which I will be so jealous for because I'll end up having to go to work. But anyways, I will probably still make lunch just in case because you never know. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what, what I'm dealing with here. Very snowy. So here's a little bit of what we're dealing with, guys. It's snowy outside. Apparently the girls are trying to save some snow for slushies. I do not know what this is about. We were, okay, we have snow icicles on our house. Snow icicles, those are just icicles, they're not snow icicles, they're just Whatever. icicles. Whatever, icicles. We had icicles on our house, so we took the shovel, we took our shovel and mm -hmm. we scraped them off the house, so then. Then they're saving then them? Then we're saving them in a bowl and we made a small cooler mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the bowls so we move, we put these snow Because around taking them. them into the house and putting them in the freezer wasn't an option, apparently. Because, okay. Anyways, anyways, so here it is, guys. This is the snow we've got. I don't know, there's like, this is accumulation from a couple days, but today was pretty big, so a couple inches. That's our snow.